Hey everyone, I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on in my life. About two weeks ago, I was eating a pretzel, also known as the pretzel of death, a soft pretzel. I was eating it, it got choked um, in my throat, and it wasn't to the point of where I couldn't breathe or anything, but I could still feel it. It finally went through, I'm not sure at what point it went. finally went down, or dissolved, but um, it finally did. Well, for about five or six days after that, it felt like I couldn't eat. It felt like everything was getting stuck in the back of my throat, and I've pretty much gone to a liquids and soft food diet from from that point, from about two or three weeks ago. Um, a couple days after I had choked, I finally went to the emergency room because I was like, something is wrong. I felt like my throat was closing up, and um, I got to the emergency room, did a barium swallow, nothing showed up. They... The doctor didn't seem like he he was busy. I understand it's an emergency room and I wasn't dying and I didn't have blood gushing everywhere. But still, it just didn't seem like he paid that much attention. Like, he didn't even check my tonsils. He didn't check my blood work. He didn't do any of that kind of stuff. I know it's an emergency room. Well, that was Wednesday. Monday, I finally was able to go to my doctor because it was like a four-week waiting list. And I finally got in after, like, I had already had an appointment scheduled, thankfully. Uh, so I went to her, talked to her about it. She think, she said that she thought something was stuck in the little flaps. So she sent me in for an upper endoscopy. Which I am thankful that they actually got me in like two days later. Well, I finally went in for the endoscopy this past Wednesday. And um, I'm telling you, I have probably, other than having my wisdom teeth out and being awake for all four wisdom teeth all in the same day... Um, other than that, I think this was probably one of the worst experiences in my life. Like, I'm pretty shook up still about it. My mom and I sat and waited and waited and waited. And finally they took us back. Which they told us it would be about a three hour procedure. Which, still not understanding why. Because it's a three to five minute procedure. Not sure why it takes three hours. Because it doesn't take that long to check you in and all that kind of stuff. But, I got in. They took my blood pressure. They, they finally, the lady couldn't get the IV in my hand. Which... I have problems getting in my arm, but um, she couldn't get in my aunt hand. My vein had rolled at that point, and um, I was just like, "Ah, this is gonna be a hard stick today." Well, the lady had put it in my wrist right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, and it, I'm telling you that hurt. I was in tears, and I'm pretty. I have a pretty pretty high t pain tolerance. Um, and then I sat there for a while. Finally, um, they were putting me, they put saline in me, which I guess makes blood pressure go up, which I already have high blood pressure. And I don't know. It was just, I'm not sure what they were thinking. Anyways, so they, they let my mom go. She went to got breakfast. I went back to the room. When I got back there, I, I asked like a thousand questions. I just want to make sure I was prepared. Like I'm the kind of person that needs to know what's going to happen ahead of time and be mentally prepared. Well, the nurse was real nice. He was, a um... He was a male nurse. He was probably he was probably my grandparents' age. Maybe not that old, but it seemed like that old. Uh, he was a real sweet man. He uh, he talked to me for a little bit about what was going to happen. And finally, the doctor came in. And it was some foreign lady, which I'm not against foreigners, but she was just completely rude to me. And, like, I just had a bad feeling the second she walked in the door. I asked her about 5,000 questions about, like, uh what could happen if they, like, if they accidentally made a mistake or whatever and how often that happens. I asked her those kind of things. And then she's like, we're going to go ahead and do the procedure. So she told the nurse to give me the medicine, which I'm a little bit surprised that this happens because I thought, like, when I was thought about this whole process before it happened, I thought that I would be put under by a anesthesiologist. Well, little did I know. Um, the nurse put um, some sedative in me, and then he's like, you should be asleep. I was like, I'm not. I'm fully awake right now, and nothing. I was like, I'm completely aware of everything that's going on right now. So he's like, well, he's like, I don't know. And then I guess he gave me some kind of um, relaxer medicine, which did not relax me because I was freaking out at this point. And the doctor went, well, we're just going to go ahead and do it anyway. <sighs> I'm not sure what her problem was. <laughs> she must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Well, she started it, and I was freaking out. And I have a horrible, bad gag reflex. And I felt like I couldn't breathe. And I told the lady, I was like, I can't breathe. She's like, shut. She didn't tell me to shut up, but she's like, be quiet. She's like, if you don't stop it, blah, blah, blah. And then they were holding me down because I was freaking out. And she's, I was like, I can't breathe. She's like, okay, don't breathe. So it was just... It was just a whole bad experience, and they were, I I have a hiatal hernia, which is normal for bigger people, and also I had like a shiitake ring, I think that's what they call it, it's where 
narrowing of the esophagus, but um, because I was awake, they couldn't stretch it, so I'll probably eventually, if it doesn't get better, I'll have to go back in. And, well, I forgot to tell you. When I walked in, I told her why I was there, that they think there's something stuck back here in my throat. And she's like, I can't even look at that. I was like, why am I here? So, I just, the whole situation, like, the whole reason I was there was not, like, it was just a huge waste of my time. They didn't find out anything that was anything. And she wasn't even able to look at my throat. And she's like, you need to go to ear, nose, and throat doctor. But, uh, make sure that they give you um, anesthesiologists and sedatives, especially if you're a big person to put you under when you have this. This is horrible. My throat's killing me still, which I guess is normal, but I was, I'm pretty shooken up still about all of this. I know that, um, he told me back in February was when they were, the nurses under doctor supervision was not allowed to give the stuff that actually put you to sleep for a little bit. I'm telling you what, guys, if you ever have the opportunity to, um, get an anesthesia, tell them before you go in and do this procedure. It, if you're a bigger person, most likely, of what I understand, it's this medicine doesn't always work. He said that he's been having this problem with a lot of people ever since February. I'm like, why don't they tell somebody? Anyways, so that's been my life. Um, I've lost about 10 pounds at least. I know I've lost, um, my clothes are falling off, which is great. I'm glad, but I'm not sure if this is the best way to lose it by not eating, um, my, I know my stomach is shrunk. I was able to eat a little bit tonight and uh, not choke, thankfully. So if you guys can keep me in your prayers about that. Um, I am one subscriber away from being to 50. I will do something really big for you guys if I get to 50 subscribers. And um, I don't know what else to say. My other channel is doing great. I have a lot of views on there. Um, I, I have a band that I'm following. I'm talking to a few other bands. I'm hoping to get in with the music business eventually. Uh, I talked to Jordan Shellhart. She's a she's an up-and-coming um, country music star. I talked to her um, manager, maybe. Um, I was able to talk to him for a little bit on Vlog TV if, last Sunday about getting into the music business. So that was cool to be able to ask him some questions. Anyways, uh, if you've ever had a scope... Uh, leave the comment below or email me. Let me know how your experience went. Let me know if you had a better experience with the scope thing. And I hope you guys are having a great week. And get me to 50 subscribers and I'll do something great for you. Have a great day.